Welcome to the Data Barracks Classroom. My name's George and today we're going to be looking at licensing uh, in the cloud. It's a major topic, uh, but not a lot of people are talking about it uh, and it does need to be reviewed. Here are our five tips for things that you need to be thinking about. First on our list is virtualization. Uh, if you have your own virtual platform at the moment, internally within your offices, you'll be in charge or responsible for uh, licensing the virtual machines, the hypervisors, uh, the storage, and everything else that comes with it. If you're moving over to a cloud provider, all of this is taken away or alleviated from you. This allows you to concentrate on managing the OS, but not having to worry so much about, say, uh, licensing the OS or all of the hypervisor systems beneath that. Second on our list is complexity. Uh, as much as cloud computing in itself can be complex, uh, the licensing around that can be more so. Uh, for example, if you are looking to take your Microsoft licenses over into your cloud platform, you need to make sure that you have software assurance or something of that nature in place uh, so you can transfer the licenses easily. If you're using OEM licenses, you may need to look again uh, as it's not possible to transfer this onto a cloud platform. Third on the list is elasticity. Um, a lot of uh, applications or uh, licenses allow you to scale up very easily um, and this is brilliant for cloud platforms where you need to have extra resources for a set period of time so therefore you increase the number of licenses you need. However, um, it may be difficult to scale back down. Uh, for example, you might be locked into having X number of licenses and once you've purchased those, you can't then uh, remove those licenses uh, when you no longer require them. Fourth on our list is a regular review of your licensing. Uh, cloud licensing is under a lot of change at the moment, so therefore the licenses you may have uh, may not stay the same. Therefore, where beforehand with your own um, platform, you may not have needed to check the licensing on such a regular basis, you may want to keep a closer eye on this now to make sure that your licenses are up to date and valid. Last on our list is an auditing review where you may be able to have shifted uh, most of the licensing um, costs off to your service provider and moved all of the licensing around, uh, you still need to be aware that you could be audited uh, for the licenses you do have. So therefore, you need to keep a regular eye on this and keep your licensing documentation up to date. 